My name is Rashid and in this video I'm going to show you how to pay 10 times less on your API costs for your AI agents and automation. Today we are talking about DeepSeek version 3, a powerful la large language model that could save you money and deliver top tier performance comparable with OpenAI and Anthropic models. And the best part is that it's open source. So you can self-host it on your server if you don't want to share your data with the model providers like OpenAI. So in this video, I will show you how to integrate DeepSeek into N8N. Let's dive in. Right now, if you search for DeepSeek in here, you can see we have no module for this. And if I choose an AI agent, for example, and want to change the chat model, you can see there is no DeepSeek in here as well. Now, before we get into the technical setup, let me show you something. So take a look at this graph. It compares some of the most popular large language models based on two key factors. The performance measured by the MMLU benchmark shown on the Y axis and the cost per million tokens for inputs shown at the X axis. Now notice where DeepSeek is positioned. It sits at the sweet spot right in the performance price ratio optimum range. Now, what does this mean? The performance is on par with high-end models like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. You can see it on this line. And above the price, we notice uh, GPT-40 costs about $2.5 per million token uh, input and ten dollars per million output tokens where DeepSeek just costs about 27 cents per million tokens for inputs and 1.10 dollars for output which is crazy that's a massive difference now imagine running high volume projects where these cost savings add up quickly. This could save you hundreds and potentially even thousands of dollars while delivering comparable results. And today you will learn how to build using this model or even change your actual AI agents and workflows to work with. So to use DeepSeek in N8N, the simplest way is gonna be OpenRouter. So you're gonna go to openrouter.ai for those of you who don't know what OpenRouter is, OpenRouter is a unified API service that provides access to a diverse range of AI language models, including GPT, Claude, and many more. And they do it through a single interface, so you can interact with multiple AI models from different providers via a single API, simplifying integration and usage. And they give you access to a wide selection of AI models, including proprietary options like GPT and open source alternatives. And in this case, for example, uh, DeepSeek. So you can go to models and check what they have in their listings. So they have up to 300 models you can choose from, and you can also filter them here by context length, by the model provider, etc. Going back to the home page, you would need to log in, obviously, and then go to credits. You would need to top up credits so you can use the API and then go to keys and then create key. Let's name it N8N DeepSeek demo and then click create and you got your API key in here. So you're gonna copy it. So going back to N8N, you can see that my AI agent is using OpenAI model in here. You can click on it and see we are using GPT-40 mini. We can also test this out. Tell me five jokes. And you can see it's using OpenAI. So it's working. Now what we are going to do is very simple. So we are going to add another credential for OpenAI. So make sure you are using the OpenAI model. I know we are using DeepSeek, but in this case, we are using the OpenAI framework to connect through the API. So choose always OpenAI model. And then in here, we can add the new credential. Let's paste 
the API key we just copied. And on Open Router documentation, we can found their base URL. We're gonna also copy this and paste it in here. So we're gonna replace the base URL going to OpenAI. And I'm gonna rename this credential to Open Router so I don't get confused. AI, click Save. So you see connection tested successfully, perfect. And then in here, we're gonna use expression. And for the modern name, let's go back to open router. Here we look for our model we're gonna use and just copy the code name or the model name and paste it in here. So now we have it, perfect. Let's try, let's save this. And then let's try this again, hello. Okay, so obviously I did something wrong. I have an error. Let me check the authorization. Oh yeah, I pasted the wrong API key. Oops. So let me grab the right one, paste it in here, hit save. Okay, I'll try. Okay, this looks good. Oh, thanks. And now let's retry this. Hello. Okay, you can see we have a message back and um, yeah, let's try Demi five jokes. Okay, so now let's go back and check if we really used our API key. So you can see here, we just used, used DeepSeq v3 and you can see the costs in here. So yeah, it's that simple, guys. So yeah, now that you can integrate DeepSeq into your N8N automations or use it into other workflows, here are some tips. Uh, I've found while working with DeepSeq. So DeepSeq can really replace your LLM for pretty much any text-based task from generating text to analyzing, etc. It performs very well at much lower prices. So I recommend using DeepSeq for these kind of tasks. And it works also very well with tools. However, if you're using more than 10 tools, in a single agent, the quality may degrade and the model can get confused. For coding tasks, I haven't personally tested DeepSeq for any coding tasks yet. So if you've used it for coding, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your experience. And yeah, if you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more tutorials and let me know in the comments what you wanna learn next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.